Hey guys, what's going on? Bo Levin here, your favorite YouTuber. Kendall Levin. We're super excited to have you guys. If you don't know, we own Feels Like Home Construction. This channel is all about business, finance, uh, real estate, land, everything you can think of, of how to build your lifestyle, your entrepreneur journey, or whether you're doing it on the side as a hustle. We pretty much show you different businesses that help, different ways to make money, and you know, live it, live it on through life. Yep, so today's video is going to be all about our credit card and how we travel everywhere for free. Yes, and what card is that and how we do it. We're going to walk you through all the steps, tell you exactly what we did and kind of how where we started to where it is now, and it really was the best deal ever. We are not big on credit cards, but this has helped tremendously whenever you do have a business and you got to buy all the material too. So now, let's get into it. So now you're probably wondering, how do we travel for free? And I'm about to show you. So we actually have the Hilton Honors Business Card. Uh, we actually got this back when we first started a construction business. This card was, I think at the time when we applied for it, I think we was only like a $2,000 or $3,000 line. We had some personal credit cards that were bigger, uh, but we were actually really against it. We didn't want to use credit cards at all. We just figured, you know, going out there and paying for cash for our materials and, and doing it that, that way, which we were already buying anyways, which is dumb. You know, we we're already buying it. We should just use the credit card and then the next day paid it off. And that's why we were big on that. We don't wait till the statement balance. We'd actually pay it off like two days later and then you get the points. But we had some other businesses along the way that we did not do that. And by looking back now, we could have been traveling years back before this construction business and using those uh, those business cards. And you gotta use them for the right reason. Don't be going out and buying stuff, you know, where you're gonna not pay it off, or you're gonna try to hold off until the end of the month to be able to get it paid back. Make sure if you do this, you do have the money to pay it off within a few days later, and then you're not getting strapped for cash at, you know, 30 days later when you have a huge balance you gotta pay off. Right, we just never really used any sort of credit cards because I think that that kind of scared us off a little bit because mm -hmm. we, we always wanted to make sure that they were paid off and we didn't accumulate debt or anything like that. But when we started our construction business and we started to make bigger purchases for materials and jobs kept getting bigger and bigger, we thought, hey, we need to start maximizing the potential of the money that we're spending and why don't we get a credit card that is going to give us benefits back because we love to travel. So, Yeah, and... This is the card right here. It's your American Express Hilton card. It's the business edition. Um, like I said, when we first applied for that, we really didn't ever have like any business credit at all. Uh, like I said, it was like three grand, I think is what the deal was. And we're like, man, construction materials are expensive. So you go to the store, you can easily drop three grand in like a matter of an hour at the store. And you're like, well, what am I going to do now? I got to go out and I'm going to buy the materials. So we had all these jobs coming in. We figured, okay, well, this is dumb. Why would we go and pay out of our pocket when we're already have to do it, pay out of our pocket no matter what, to, you might as well just pay it to the, pay off the credit card. So we go to the store now, we applied for this card, we got it in and we started doing that. And we just kept doing that and kept doing it. And so we, our limit was so small, three grand, we'd have like our personal credit card Southwest over here using this one. And then we'd go over here and use the last three grand on this card. And then we'd, we'd pay it off like an hour later because it's an instant payoff on that card. And then Kendall would call back up to the store and we'd order another $3,000 for her. So we could it, it, potentially spend Ten or twelve thousand a day, which right there is already thirty or forty thousand points. So there's two free nights at a hotel that we already got to spend and already already get. Right. Yeah. And we thought we might as well just keep paying it off and keep using it. And the more that we do that, our balance will get bigger and bigger, or our credit limit will increase over time. And that's what it did. Every so often, every however many months, you reapply and they give you a bigger limit increase, and it got better and better from there. Yeah. And so. Like she was saying, we, we were like so anxious for that time to pop up on there and it would say like credit limit increase. And so we'd go on there and we'd apply because we really needed the bigger line to be able to order all the materials. Right. So then we applied and we got it up to 20. It jumped up to 20 after that. And then all of a sudden 90 days later, or 100, well, I can't remember the 120 days later, uh, we applied again and it got up to 40 and then it went to 60 and it, went up to, and it just kept going up from there. And that's what really changed it for us when we got that bigger limit because when you are doing bigger deals or if you have a big business that you are buying a lot of materials for, or you're buying a lot of um, product for or whatever it is, it's easy to get a lot of points going because mm -hmm. you swipe your card one time for a 40000 or $50,000 order, well, you're getting five times or three times the points on that. Well, now we have three or four nights for free. And so really we just kept doing that and using the credit you know, in a, in a good way and paying it off like you're supposed to 
and never having a balance on it or a actual statement balance to pay interest on that. It was already paid off before that date. And then all of a sudden, at the end of the month, we'd get all these points in and we'd just start traveling. Yeah, we use it to its advantage. And then when we were building the apartment, starting that out, our purchases for that were huge. So like Bo said, our limit got up to about 60000 when we first started the apartments. And we would pay for lots of materials, order them online, and then pay it off and then use it again. And so our points just kept accumulating. And at one point, we had over a million points. And we weren't traveling anywhere for maybe five to six months. Yeah. And so they just kept growing and growing because, like he said, we're getting three to five times the dollar that we spend per point, and uh, they accumulated pretty big. And that's the cool thing about the Hilton Honors Card is that we love to travel and stay at Hilton, so it really works out well in our benefit. But we also used the Southwest Card when we first started, too, and sometimes we still use it occasionally, and we get some points on there. Um for flights and things like that. And I know there's a big deal out there of people saying, well, you know, all of our friends would say, why wouldn't you just get a, a, a credit card for flying? Well, I mean, I don't see that the flying's that expensive because if you find the right deal on there, you're paying two or 300 bucks round trip, depending on where you're going in the U.S. Well, that's 600 bucks. Well, if we go stay at a Hilton, there's been times where we stayed at a Hilton, uh, you know, in um, outside town or like in Dallas area or wherever it is. And those hotel rooms are running six hundred dollars a night, five hundred dollars a night on a on a big weekend. Well, that's free for us. So I mean, I I saw the advantage of staying at a five star hotel versus just going out and getting flights, which we'll still put a few orders on there to get our free flights. But I think our biggest one was the Hilton Honors Card because we got to go stay for free. And like right. our soon to, soon vacation coming up is Mexico. We have an all inclusive stay for seven days, absolutely free, and we still have like nine hundred thousand points left. To go out and do it all over again. Yeah. I mean, that stay was only, we had some free nights too with that credit card. We spent so much and they give you like three free nights. And But out of our points and all that, I mean, 300, 400,000 points. And we, it wasn't, you know, our money to begin with. We had to buy the material anyways. Yeah, we are already having to use it. So. Yeah. And so then. And that one's really cool. Kendall did a lot of research on that one. And that that's going to be a seven day free stay. And then we also had points for flights too. So we actually had. No money out of pocket for this uh, trip that's coming up. Right. And I think that we, the trip coming up to Mexico, it's a really neat trip too because it is an all-inclusive Hilton. And they do offer all-inclusives in some areas. And so when you do your research, you can find that out. And we had three free night rewards, so we got to use those on some of the room and split it up. So, yeah, that trip was completely paid for. And all of our trips have been hotel-wise for sure, the last four, four or five years. Yeah, we really haven't had to pay for a, a hotel room. Now, if you're not having a lot of big purchases, you know, if you're just trying to get points because you're just trying to spend money here and there, you know, obviously I don't, I don't think it's a great idea. But if you already have to order your product for your business or whatever that business might be, and you got to spend the five thousand or ten thousand, I mean, shoot, that that comes up quick. And if you do that, then you'll eventually get an offer for a bigger card, you know, where you have no limit, and then that that card opens up to other things, you know? I think of building that business credit too, I think helps out you in the long run because if you ever go out and apply for, or you're getting a new truck in, on your business line, you know, or whatever it is, you actually have that est established credit on there of, hey, they're spending a lot of money and they're also paying it off before the statement balance, like, I might wanna loan them money. And so it makes it easier on you growing over the years versus you just going out and saying, hey, I need a credit line for half a million dollars. They're gonna be like, you have no business credit, so why would I give you that? Yeah. And that card, Hilton Honors card, I feel like American Express is really good about when you spend it and you pay it off and you spend and pay it off, you get into that routine and they see that. They're really good about increasing your limit so you can grow that limit increase very like fast when you want to. So I feel like they're really good about that. Mm -hmm. And they've always been great to deal with as a company. And once you get that card like we did in the beginning, that Hilton Honors card, and you establish that relationship with that company then eventually like our no limit card now they'll offer you different things like that yeah a lot of perks too like they'll randomly email us and say hey you know you've reached this this amount we're gonna go ahead and give you a free free uh, weekend night yeah and they just kept doing that i like the feeling too when you show up to the hotel and obviously there's a lot of diamond members out there i think that's a, just the whatever level you can get to on that, that card but it does make you feel cool because then you get your, your little free stuff when you walk in and then they always just make you feel uh, welcome. That's the reason why we like staying at the Hiltons because yeah. they are nice hotels always. And sometimes once you get to that 
level the diamond member. They'll upgrade you. They'll give you lots of perks when you get to the hotel. We always get little breakfast and sometimes lunch is there, little uh, cards, complimentary. So yeah. that's a really cool thing. Yeah, and we'll use it at the hotel, like she's saying, too. If we use our credit card, they refund our uh, – after we get back, like all our breakfast at that hotel, though it gets refunded back on our card. So they actually give us a credit back for all those breakfasts. And that's for, you know, mimosas or whatever we're drinking those, those mornings too. So that's kind of makes it uh, nice as well. Yeah. I would say that that's probably the best thing that we've ever done as far as card wise. And there's other people out there that like different cards. Cause like Bo said, if you like to fly a lot and that's something that you're interested in getting the card for that or cash back options, Ours just intrigued us because it was traveling, and a lot of the times we traveled to like Dallas, which is five to six hours away from us, or places that are drivable, so we didn't use flights that often, but the hotel has really paid off for yeah, us. Yeah, it has. It adds up quick, too. When you go book a hotel room, even if it's 159 or 200 a night, when you're staying there for five nights, I mean, it does get you by the time they do all those fees and everything. Well, that's why we preferred to go the, the hotel route of doing that because our stay was always a lot more expensive than our uh, flights were. Right. And so I think if you're asking yourself, okay, how do I travel? Because I, I want to do the same thing that you guys are doing and I want to stay for free places. I would say, like Bo said, if you have a business or you need to purchase things in big amounts that you're needing some money for, go ahead and apply for it, the Hilton Honors card, something that, that way, and then you can get approved for it. And I would start building up your limit increase and go that route. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's good. And, you know, if you made it this far in the video, we really do appreciate you watching. Uh, just to make sure, you know, with YouTube's algorithm and everything, to make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. You know, we really appreciate it. And that lets, you, let, that lets us know that you love our content out there. And, you know, you want us to keep making these videos and keep sharing you the knowledge that we've learned and obviously things that we've done wrong. We've had a lot of failures, too. And so we're going to make sure we share those with you as well. Right. Exactly. So, guys, thanks for watching. And it can't wait for you to watch this video.